Bible, all the verses have something to teach us. I also find that they can be uh, motivational, reassuring, inspirational, and comforting. So, by way of reassurance, I've chosen Psalm 18, verse 2. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. So God has got my back no matter what the world throws at me. He's certainly reassuring. It's also, it's easy to get involved in things and become infused, but I find it's even easier to become lethargic and slip back into old habits. So, by way of a much needed kick or motivation, I've gone for Galatians 6, verses 9 and 10. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have opportunities, let us do good to all people, especially those who belong to the family of believers. On to inspiration. We all need inspiration and there's no shortage of it in the Bible. At this moment in time though, this passage does it for me. Romans 12, 9 to 13. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another. Honour one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal but keep your spirit firm, serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share the Lord's, share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. It's close, and then we comfort. I do try, with varying degrees of success, to be a positive or glass half full type of person. I sometimes, though, find it ever more difficult when the world appears to repeatedly empty out the context. Sometimes I really am, as they say, a man on the edge. When I get up on a Sunday and go to church, it's not something I think about or decide on the morning. It's a decision I make to cover all my Sundays. I'm the same when it comes to spending my time with God. It's something I do every day, a decision I make to cover all days. Although I admit it's slightly more difficult to find peace and quiet in school holidays, <laughs> but I manage. I have to. For me, it's vital. When life empties my glass, it's God who refills it. When I'm that man on the edge, it's God who holds me and stops me going over. In my times with God, I need His word, I pray, but sometimes I just come to Him and rest. So my final choice is Matthew 11. 28 to 30. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle, humble in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. That's it. Thank you.